Okay, it's Gold Man here again. What I'm going to do today is um, use that same Beggary Hill dirt, that really hot stuff I was using the other day in the ground balance uh, video. And I've jacked it up using two pieces of timber and I'm going to place some targets underneath it. So I've got two targets I'm going to use today. Whoop. And I just dropped like a nice nine grand piece. Do you want to do it again? Do it again, bro. Alright, so there's my nice nine grand piece. Nice. Um, and I'll use my other piece which I'm going to use today, which is a 1.09 grand piece, which is not a bad little piece, really. So this back in there and I'll put this here and I'm going to slide it underneath now I've already ground balanced it now I'm running at null I'm running threshold A of 40 I'm running gain of 4 and I'm mode 3 so it's ground balanced there all the way to the ground as you can see I'm going to slip this 9 gram piece in so you can hear it quite well so that's probably a good uh, 6 to 7 inches above the above the target See, it's punching through that really hot, hot ground at a good depth and a good signal. And I'm really using only benign settings, really. You know, threshold A of 40 and null, a gain of 4, I would call sort of middle of the ground sort of settings. I could punch it up a lot better than that. But I just want to show you that the uh, it will pick out stuff through really, really hot ground like a good PI should. Now I'm going to change this over to the one gram piece. Ah, if I can get it off this blue tack. So we'll stick it on there. I won't get this at as much depth, but of course it's not as big. It's a ninth of the ties. So you can see there, picking out through that mineralised ground. So, have some confidence in your mighty QED because it's going to tell you where to find gold. Just got to learn to listen. Now, you'll notice that that piece, a one gram piece, is giving you a high, low, high, low, whereas the 9 gram piece, I'll switch it back quickly, is going to give you something completely different. Notice that low, high, low, low, high. So that happens at about 2 to 3 grams in that space where It'll change from being a high low to a low high. And these are the sounds that you're really interested in. Alright, just wanted to show you that um, today. Like I said, I'm getting, I reckon, a good 6 to 8 inches above that piece through very heavily mineralised ground and uh, using fairly benign settings. I could drop, uh, let's just drop threshold B down until it gets noisy. Let's see what happens. So it's giving me a bit of extra. Let me go the other way above null. So I'm about six above null now. So that's actually a bit better than below null on this piece. So yeah, threshold B 
Don't be afraid to, to use it. That's what it's there for, to bias towards certain size targets. But if you're looking for anything, set it at null. Work out what ground you're in, what coil you're using, and bias accordingly. All right, gold man out.